Did you know the Amazon River used to flow in the opposite direction? Yep, complete 180. For millions of years, it didn't run into the Atlantic, it went west, straight into the Pacific. Now, you're probably wondering, what on earth happened? Well, to find that answer, we need to rewind the clock, back to when South America and Africa were still glued together in a supercontinent Gondwana. See, in that ancient world, the Proto-Amazon River started in the east in these highland mountains and flowed across the entire continent towards the west. At that time, that was completely normal. But then around 80 million years ago, the supercontinent started to break apart, creating the Atlantic Ocean. South America started to drift away, and as that happened, the mountains slowly got eroded down. They were the river's old headwaters. But still, the elevation was high enough for the river to continue flowing west. So how did it do the ultimate Uno reversal and go towards the Atlantic? Well, that's because of something that happened deep underground. See, as South America slid west, Westward, it did so over cold slabs in the mantle. This caused the crust above to sag, to sink. Huge areas of the Amazon basin started sinking slowly but enough to matter. Later, the western side began rising. While the east kept sinking, the whole region tilted like a giant geological seesaw. This naturally slowed down the river's direction towards the west. And then came the ultimate nail in the coffin the Andes. Around 15 million years ago, the Nazca Plate pushed under the South American one and raised a wall of mountains right in the river's path. The Amazon's old exit into the Pacific, well, that was gone. So the river did what rivers do when they get blocked. It pulled and pulled until the middle of South America turned into a gigantic inland sea. Marine animals got trapped, some adapted. That's how you end up with the freshwater dolphins in the Amazon. But water always finds a way out. Around 10 to 11 million years ago, the Inland Sea finally cracked a weak point in the east. It carved a brand new path to the Atlantic, and just like that, the Amazon flipped direction. We know all this thanks to tiny mineral grains called zircons. Some of them are over a billion years old, and they couldn't have come from the Andes because the Andes are just too young. They came from an ancient mountain in the east, which means the river once flowed away from them. Add the sediment clues, the mantle-driven tilt, the rise of the Andes, and you get one clear story. The Amazon didn't just change course, a continent forced it to. It's kind of one of the best reminders that Earth is never really finished. Mountains rise, basins sink, mantle moves, and even the world's largest river can turn around and go the other way. It is truly Earth's Uno reversal card. Like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.